Had a little explosion here. Had the drill turned up too high. Quick little project. It's time to get my Wi-Fi bird watching house painted up. Using some old paint. Looks like it's some chalk grayish blue paint, something like that. We'll see how it turns out. All right, got it all painted up with the first coat. I actually sealed it first with this. And then I went ahead and painted over that, which this is all scrap wood anyway. I'm not gonna paint the inside. That's the little window to allow light in for the camera. Here's the camera. I've got to charge it and then relook up how to download the Wi-Fi link. And then here is the solar panel that I'm going to run to the camera. And my goal is to have a live that I can go in and look at, which I think would be pretty cool. I can get this open one-handed here. Oh, sweet. I've, I've actually never even opened this. That's, that's a really cool design. It's a solar panel, but it's got like this really hard rubberized texture. That's awesome. Then there's the mount location. And then basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this down the fence and then the power cord is going to go through there to the camera, which I think this is still wet. Oh no, no, it's not actually. The power cord is going to go to the camera, which is going to sit there with some Velcro. And it's going to be angled down. It's kind of hard to demonstrate what that's going to look like right now. but So hopefully I can get that on the fence. So the birds can start nesting. Now I'm just installing the camera with the Velcro onto the little mount location there. Be pointing down so it should be able to see everything that comes into the birdhouse there. This plexiglass window, I put this in here to allow light in for the camera. It does have a night vision um, mode, but the, I just needed more light to get in there. That's also another reason I didn't paint the inside blue. I wanted it to reflect some light. Now I just got to pick a spot on the fence. I put it away from the gate. That way we wouldn't disturb them too much. And this is an eye shot of the window upstairs. So it'd be cool to be able to watch it. Just running the solar panel line. It gets pretty windy. So I went ahead and Secured everything to the fence. Checking to make sure everything is mounted good so it doesn't blow away. Now I'm just going to give it some time, let some of the birds come in. I put some, some seed down. Start working on the zinnias, which hopefully attracts a lot of bees. So I can have a great vegetable garden this year. What I plan on doing here, I'm just gonna mix all the seed packets together. That way I get kind of a, just a assortment of colors in each pot. And then once they come up in the pots, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, move them to the flower beds. And then all this soil I'm using, this is from the soil that I made. So I'm kind of just trying to use it all up Go ahead and sprinkle some of the zinnias into a flower bed that I have. Not 100% sure these are going to come up, so I'm kind of just sprinkling them out there, hoping they do. Put like a about a quarter inch of soil over top of them. Same thing here in the flower bed, just a little quarter inch, just enough to get soil on them. Now I'm going to plant some beans. Notice a lot of worm activity, which is good. It means your soil is really good. 
So hopefully those do good. These are my strawberries and garlic. I'm just gonna throw some of that soil and fertilizer on them. This is Swiss chard, all different types. Grab my watering can, just water in those seeds, make sure they're nice and wet. Then hopefully we've got some bird visitors by now. And that didn't take long. We do. Oh, went behind the birdhouse there. Overall, pretty productive project. Hopefully we get some video of them going into the house. None yet, but hopefully soon.